Hi there. Today we are going to work with the TheraBand and we're going to work into our shoulder mobility. Shoulder mobility and flexibility is so important for everyday functioning as we're reaching for things, lifting for things, pushing things, pulling things. Everything is very vulnerable on our shoulders if we're not working them correctly. So today we are going to strengthen those shoulders and we're going to give them lots of mobility so that we can really get them nice, juicy, and supple. So you ready? Let's do this. Before we begin, I want to warm you up. So let's get our legs nice and wide, roll your shoulders back, draw your belly in and just sort of get yourself centered and ready to work. So give me uh, one or two cleansing breaths. Just center yourself, inhale, exhale, <sighs> release whatever tension you might have. Shake it out even. Again, inhale, exhale. <sighs> Good. Now engage it, lift it up as you inhale. And now exhale, we're gonna dive it towards our toes, towards the ground, take it all the way down. And then we're gonna roll it back up. And we're gonna do that again. We're reaching it up and exhale it down. Roll it up, let's hold it here now. Get in touch with those back muscles as you pull your shoulders down. Stretch through the fingertips and try to lift taller from your waist as you anchor your feet, anchor your shoulders. Reach out of the crown of the head. There's so much energy going on. And then just fan those arms out. Reach through those fingertips. Stay right here as they're out to the sides. We're now going to bend our knees and we're going to hinge over at our hip and a little flat back. And then we're going to take our body down and just release it down. Let it go. Our knees are bent. And just sort of shake it all out. And then we're going to roll it up. And we're going to reach it up and you're going to stretch again from the back and belly. Stretch it up. Get tall. Get power. And then fan those arms out. Find your back muscles. Good. And this time we're going to stay straight with those legs as we flat back over. Stretch out of the fingertips. Push your butt bones to the back of the room. And then just let everything release. You can soften your knees and roll. Release it. And roll it up. Rolling those shoulders down. Let's give it a little side bend over. And then just rotate back to side, come up other way, take it over and rotate, come to center, bring it up and just clasp those fingertips behind you as we open our chest. And then just give yourself a nice little hug as you just release your head, neck and shoulders forward, kind of push through your upper back a little and then release it and shake it out. Good job. All right, so hopefully we feel just like we woke up our body Grab your band and we will get started. So I do, before we do our shoulder work, want to get you a little mobile. So you're gonna keep your legs about sit bone distance apart. And I'm just gonna wrap my band because it's pretty long. So you gauge how tough you want your band, but you wanna be able to sort of press it back and feel a little tautness. All right, so right now, just keep the hands right at your hips and send your hips back. So all I'm doing is sort of letting my pelvis tilt back as my spine stays nice and neutral, okay? And when you're ready, you can start to engage the shoulders. We just reach them forward and press them back. And again, this is your warm up, so we're not overdoing anything. We're just waking up those muscles and getting the blood flowing. Let's go eight. Now give a little power with those legs, push. I want you warming your body up. Breathe any way you want, just breathe. Three more. Good, now go down, hold it and pulse it. Are your shoulders connected to your back, hopefully? Four, three, two, one. Come up, stretch those arms up and bring the arms down. Up and down. Now it's important to keep your elbows straight. Try not to bend them because that's cheating. Reach long through them so this comes from the back. Four. Good. Try not to pop through the ribs. Three. Two. One. Then come to about chest distance. I might undo a ravel as I open up and bring it so there's no tension. Pull so there's tension and then none. So again, we're just getting in tune with those back muscles. You feel them at this point, hopefully. Four more. Four. Good. Three. 
two. Hold it wide on one and get your legs wide. Good. And then just little pulses as you reach out wall to wall, keeping those shoulders back and down and your ribs and belly in. Four, three, two, one. Bring them down by your thighs. Again, I'm gonna roll it a little bit, get a little bit tougher and I'm gonna reach my arms up and I'm gonna keep them straight. So I have a little pressure on my band, engaging my shoulders down my back, drawing my belly in. So I'm gonna reach my shoulders up to my ears and then pull those shoulders down. All I want is the shoulders moving. No bending of the elbows. So we're not here. We're reaching. So keeping your arms straight might mean less mobility. That's quite all right. Three, and anytime something doesn't feel right, go to something that does. Usually if you lower your arms, it will feel a little better. Arms above the shoulders might be too much rotation for you. So just listen to your body. Now stay right here. Engage the shoulders in your pockets. Bend those elbows so the, the band goes behind your head. Don't change your posture to do that. Really try to make your arms do it. Reach up and bring them in front of the forehead. Back of the forehead and front. And try to do this without moving your body. Just your arms, no head movement. Four, three, two, keep it behind you on one. And then just stretch those arms up, keep them stretched as we take it over for a side bend and we come up. And I might tighten a little here. Good, the tighter the strap, the more stability you might find. Now we're not flexing down, we're reaching up and over. Up and over. Shoulders stay slide down your back. Now hold up and over here, just pull down on that bottom arm, come back up over the other way. Pull down, up and over, good. Get that whole body working, four more. Are you breathing? Inhale, exhale, two more. Bring it up, shoulders slide down, belly pulls in and up, and we take those arms down. I'm gonna undo again a little bit, and I'm gonna reach my arms up, and I'm gonna try to go behind my head a little bit without pushing through my ribs, so I'm not here. I'm trying to do it with my arms. I'm also pulling on the band a little bit to create that. I'm pulling the band apart. Show you front view. Pull it apart as it goes back. I'm gonna try to go further each time, but again, you listen to your body, okay? You're your best, best teacher, your best uh, judge. I'm only here to give you some ideas. Good. Keep pulling those shoulders together and down as you reach long through those arms. And remember, the elbows don't bend. I might go a little further. Your wrists don't bend. Everything stays long, and I'm going to go all the way down. Again, don't do that if it doesn't feel good. Your body and torso do not move. This all comes from the shoulder joint. Four, three, two, one. I'm now gonna take it back behind me and I'm gonna sort of tighten up again. So now it's a little taut, it's right under my tush, all right? And I'm gonna try to bend my elbows so my elbows go to the back of the room and then stay right there. Feel as if you're sort of reaching that band apart as you stretch it back. So I'm pulling it apart and I'm reaching down and then bring the arms down. The elbows come up. Now my shoulders are pulling together and down as I stretch and pull on that band and then take it down. Bend, reach, down. So it's all for some shoulder flexibility Watch your posture, stay long. And try not to let your shoulders roll in like I just did right there, all right? Keep them together and down. One more. Good, and then I'm gonna undo some tension and I'm gonna reach it out to the sides. So now it's along my rib cage and my back. I'm just gonna come forward and open. Good, six. 
five, four, three, two, keep it open on one, and then I'm gonna do circles here from my back and my belly, like a superpower force. Four, three, two, circle the other way. Shoulders pull together and down, belly pulls in and up. Anchor your feet in the earth and reach long through the crown of your head. Four, three, two, one. We bring it on down. Good. All right, undo it. And let's take it in front again. And I'm going to stay wide with my legs still. Turn your toes out just a smidge. And then just bend at the knee and make sure your knees are lining up with like your second and third toes. And your booty goes back so that your pelvis just settles right in between your inner thighs, okay? So again, you're gonna sort of gently just curl this band along your, your palms and find a tautness that works for you as you reach those arms up. Now we come up, we press on our thighs as we pull back and then settle it back again. Your weight is semi in the heels. If you've done classes with me, You've done this move before. It's just a little sumo squat without changing the shape of your spine. Three more. That pelvis pulls you back. Hold it down. Give you side view. All right, so now I'm keeping my body as it is. I'm just gonna pull my arms up by my ears and bring them back down. Hold. Maybe bend a little bit more. Four, three, two. Keep those arms up by your ears and then just press it up and down. And again, if the load is too much for you up there, you stay down at chest level or down by your thighs, okay? Four more, four. Picture you're like holding a big box above your head, two more. And then just hold it up and give me that side bend again. Up and over side bend. Come back to center and bring those arms down and just roll those shoulders back and down. Good. Give me a little shake out, beautiful job. How do their shoulders feel? All right, let's give them some mobility. Just give me little crosses in front of you. Bring your legs in. Good, reverse it. Shake it out, Woo. give me a roll down to the toes. And roll it up, good. And let's just cross one arm over, keep your shoulder down. Take it back behind you, chin off chest, belly in. Good, other way, cross it over. Back, Woo. good, and just shake it out. So how does that feel? It can be a lot of extension. It could be a lot of flexion on your shoulders. Again, in this routine, you really wanna to listen to your body, especially if you feel any pinching or clicking or anything. You never wanna overdo that movement, but it is really good movement to do for your shoulders and your back. So hopefully you feel marvelous. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to work out with me more, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it to get notified whenever I'm here. Cause hey, I'm always here and I would love to see you. All right, take care.